Hello and welcome to Underdog Physics, the very first episode. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the so-called cloud in a bottle experiment. Now, I don't know about you, but the videos I've seen on the internet have some pretty sophisticated equipment. And I thought to myself, surely there's a way to do this using just bog standard household equipment. Turns out there is. You will need a bottle of your favourite drink. Empty. Some ethanol or some schnapps, but something kind of alcoholic. Itty bitty bit of blue tack. Well, actually, no, quite quite a lot of blue tack. A bike pump, a car car pump, car pump. Okay, first things first, get your bottle of your favourite drink, empty it out and put a little bit of ethanol on the bottom. Put the lid on and give it a nice little shake around to make sure all the inside areas are covered. Next up, get your blob of blue tack and roll it out into a nice long sausage. This is going to be our seal between the bottle and the pump. So what you want to do now is roll it up into a little donut shape, a little hole in the centre, as you might be able to see, and affix this to the bottle opening. Done. Last but not least, get your pump out and just make sure you've got a decent seal using the blue tack in your hands between the pump itself and your bottle. And you're ready to go. Make sure there's a nice seal. Get the pressure up. Here we go. Woohoo! Oh yeah! Isn't that beautiful? So here's how it actually works. We have here a fixed volume, in this case the bottle. By increasing the amount of air in the bottle, we increase its pressure since the volume is fixed. As a result, we do work on the gas and its temperature increases. To finish off, we release this pressure quickly and it's important that it's really fast so that the temperature of the gas decreases quickly. Now all the while in our experiment, the alcohol inside the bottle has been evaporating from its liquid phase. And now that the hot, high pressure air is cooling, this evaporated alcohol condenses into the droplets we see as the cloud. All right then. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you want. I'll see if I can get some more videos out in a regular fashion.